Okay, good morning, YouTube. Um, going to do a uh, another watch, show, and tell here today. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, a little bit about me. If you're new to my channel, uh, basically I, I do show and tells or very very mild reviews of watches. Um, I'm a huge collector. I've been collecting for years, and uh, I just have a real passion for watches in general, but mainly Invicta watches. Uh, this is my new thing. Uh, ever since I purchased my first Invicta watch about a year ago, um, I've just been going nonstop purchasing these bad boys, and I just absolutely love them. Even the models that aren't really so much my style, like this particular one is my coworkers that he picked up um, after uh, checking out me and my other coworkers. Uh, watches he wants to pull the trigger on one. I really like the one he picked. This is a rose tone in blue. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about this one today. Um, but what makes my, my videos unique um, is the fact that my whole thing is showing you what the watch looks like on a guy my size, my weight, and my wrist size. Um, when I was making a purchase of my first Invicta, I saw a lot of videos with the guy showing the watch up close with the white gloves. And that's great to show the detail of the watch, but I really couldn't tell what it was going to look like on a guy my size. And um, so that's what I do now. I just basically tell you a little bit about the watch, the size of the watch. Um, the, I'll, I'll touch on the movement, a few of the details, the color, uh, band size, and then just basically show you what it looks like on my wrist. Now this one is not going to fit completely snug because this, the gentleman I borrowed this watch off is quite a bit bigger than I am. Um, and he has quite a bit larger wrist. But I'm going to do the best I can with what I have here. So um, again, if you're new to my channel, that's basically what I do is show you that watch on the wrist. And uh, once you're done with my video, check out my other videos because I have a lot of Invicta uh, watch show and tells on here. And um, people really seem to love them. I got a lot of subscribers, so thank you very much. And uh, remember, if you do like the video, check out the other ones. Subscribe, like the channel, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, by all means, I'll, I'm here to help. Um, so again, um, getting back to what we're going to be talking about today. This one here, I'm going to tell you the model number. is the 16067 Invicta watch. Okay, They call this one the... Looks like the uh, Pro Diver Quartz Chronograph. Okay, um, this is done in a matte finish. Um, uh, let's see, it, it looks like a brush finish rose tone, a polished rose tone, then a brushed. Looks like yeah, like a brush and matte finish blue plating. And this is a really unique looking watch. This watch to me kind of like looks like something out of the future. It looks like a very modern, very sophisticated watch. Um, doesn't have an exhibition back or anything like that. Um, I'm going to get into the size of the watch. This one's done in a blue face, or I'm sorry, a black face, and you can kind of see, I know the lighting in here isn't great, so bear with me. I apologize. I'll give you a little bit of a close-up there. Crown and pushers, of course. You got a little bit of that blue matte finish around the bezel. Uh, this one does have a rotating bezel, of course. This is a true chronograph. You have the date. Um, really nice looking watch. Like I said, it looks like something very modern, very out of the future. Um, a little bit about it. Uh, looks like it's a 50 millimeter watch. Okay, so it's not a small watch. I'm just gonna put up, put it next to an Android that I have sitting here, comparable in size. This is the Android Silver Jet, very popular watch by Android. The Android is quite a bit thicker. This is not a very thick watch. So if you're looking for a watch that's you know in the 50 millimeter mark, but you don't want anything too thick, this is a really nice compromise. Um, 16 millimeters in case thickness. Now, the Android I believe is 22. So it's still 16 is not a skinny watch. It's still a nice thick watch. Um, then you have 30 millimeters in band width and nine and a quarter inches of length. So if you're really have a really big wrist, you have plenty of room to move there. Um, naturally, this one here weighs 10.5 ounces. You have 330 feet of water resistance on this model. Um, nothing too much else about it. Um, looks like the the movement on this thing is not a, a Swiss made movement. Um, it looks like it's made, the movement is a, actually it is a, a movement here. It's kind of interesting though. They have, what I'm reading here is uh, kind of contradicts itself. But basically the movement is a Swiss Ronda 5030D. So it is an actual Swiss made watch. Um, although on this particular one it does not say Swiss made. So I'm not sure on that. That's, uh, that's an interesting question if, uh, to, to uh, pose. A lot of the other ones will actually say cut movement country of origin is made from Switzerland. This one here is given a country of origin Thailand. However, it is a Swiss part, uh, parts Ronda 5030D. Uh, kind of interesting how they word that there. I'm just getting this off a pretty well-known site. Nonetheless, though, I mean, regardless, I mean, just because something's not made a certain place doesn't mean it's not a fantastic product or watch. So there it is. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like on the wrist here. Let's see how much bigger. All right, so it's going to fit a little loose on me here, but you'll get an idea of what it's going to look like. I'm just going to hold it back a little bit. 
So there you go. You can, I have seven inch wrists. I weigh about 165 pounds and about five foot eight inches tall. You can see that all 50 millimeter watches look pretty big on me. Not as big as some of the other ones I have, like the Sea Hunter and those just outrageously oversized watches. But this is a good looking watch, folks. Like I said, very futuristic looking. And that blue and rose tone. I don't own anything in the blue and rose tone, but it's definitely something I'd like to pick up in my collection. Maybe not necessarily in this particular model because I like something a little bit thicker, but this is just this definitely a really nice looking watch. Kind of flopping around a little there. There it is from the side. Really unique looking. Go ahead and take that off again here. Actually, have your standard clasp, your your fold over clasp. Pretty standard on the Invicta watches. Most of them have that. This one has the engraving Invicta on the side. There's the links. You can see you got the polishing, the satin, the satin, and then the polishing on the sides. Good looking watch. All right, folks. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate all you guys that continue to subscribe. I think I'm just about to crack the 550 subscriber mark, so keep them coming. I'm going to keep putting up videos. Again, um, I posted a video last week um, that was about a watch that I have coming in the mail that will be here by this Saturday. I'll put up another video. Um, that's going to be the Sea Hunter redesigned. It is a monster watch. Just gigantic. Um, remember, check out fatcatwatches.com. That's P-H-A-T-W-A-T-C-H-E-S.com. That's where you can have a lot. We'll have a lot more information about these watches, pictures. I'm constantly doing updates and, and posting new pics, and the videos are also uploaded to there as well. Um, there's a lot of links there. It'll take you to reputable sellers where you can buy this stuff, where you can actually get uh, decent return policies. Don't have to worry about getting something bad. Um, I also go into a couple of my other videos. By all means, check out a few sellers that I purchased stuff from uh, where I've had some bad experiences. So that's important to know. It's important to know where you can get stuff that's you know you you spend your good hard-earned money on stuff. You want to make sure you're gonna get something you're gonna be happy with it. You know. So uh, again, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.